Welcome back, everybody. It's Science Saturday, and we are celebrating the future Hold on. of STEM. <laughs> We got the chair blocking us over oh, no. here. There we go. This is Dom's chair. All right, there's the little behind the scenes of the studio. I know. Yeah. Can you see us all right? <laughs> it's tough because we got so much we to talk so about. Many people in here. Look at all this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this morning we are meeting Arizona Science and Engineering Fair Grand Prize winners. Congratulations to you yes. three. Um, all right, Sari, what, what's going on here? All right, a little bit. So first yeah. off, you nailed it. We are meeting and talking about the Arizona Science and Engineering Fair. What do you think about when you think about Science Fair? The volcano. Volcanoes. 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 Everybody goes to volcanoes. Mm -hmm. So we had more than 700 students competing with 500 different projects. They had to win first in a different fair to compete in the Arizona Science and Engineering Fair. And these students represent the best of the best. And they're going to the International Fair with projects that will blow your mind. They are not the volcanoes. These <laughs> students are doing independent research. They are the best young scientists in Arizona. I love it. Fantastic. Oh, what's your name? Hi, my name is Ananya Lakaraju, and I'm a sophomore at Hamilton High School. Essentially, my project uses a machine learning model and machine learning techniques to diagnose and identify genetic biomarkers of depression, which I then use to create the chemical composition of a drug against depression. This is important because depression is the leading cause of disability with over 300 million people diagnosed. Amazing. How impressive I told you. is that? Is that amazing? Okay. Wow. My brain. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that all again? I no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's incredible. Congratulations to you on all of that. What what inspired this? Yeah, so as I was saying before, depression is a very large problem, but when it comes to the methodology of my project, I'm actually currently an observer of a PhD class at the Arizona State University where I learned Stop some it. machine learning techniques in my project. And also I'm taking an AP biology course right now where I learned about proteins, transduction pathways, ligands, which I all used in my project. You're as amazing. a sophomore. You're yes. amazing. Congratulations. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Sia Padar. I'm a junior at Arizona College Prep High School. And my project focuses on the creation of metal organic frameworks that detect airborne silica and uranium to help the indigenous communities and pockets of people in Arizona that live near uranium mines assess the risk for autoimmune disorders such as Sodrin syndrome. This is a real Arizona yeah, project. Yeah, this is here. all about Arizona. <laughs> Wow. And the board, you guys, as big as me. Yeah. <laughs> as well, full of information. I just, yeah. I mean, wow. This is all AI that did this, right? You didn't write any of this, no, right? No, this is all me. Yeah. This, oh, this is you. Oh, okay. <laughs> How long does it take oh. to do this type of research? So typically, you have a one year to do your project. Um, so you start in mm -hmm. August kind of brainstorming, developing ideas. So this is about 10 months worth of work. Oh, my goodness. Boy, Kinko's and FedEx, they're very busy with you all. Um, all right, what's your name? Uh, I'm Brad Wu, and I'm from Arizona College Prep High School. And my project is basically a brain-driven exoskeleton to help rehabilitate stroke patients by collecting their brain signals and to decode their commands and mental engagement. Wow. Wow. I'm seeing like the pictures of there's things on, like so you put this on your head. Yeah. Oh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> These are my follow-up questions, Dom. What I'm do you got? I'm just trying to like <laughs> decipher some of the words on this board to see if I understand. Mm -hmm. But well, might. it's the EEG that opens unlimited potentials to explore neuroregulation. And methods. then the SFFEP, yes. you know. That's basically the patient can put input the commands into the system, and then the brain interface can automatically detect that. Oh uh, I'm going to do something a little unorthodox. Ronnie, can we just turn around to show the parents here, the very proud parents that are watching right now? <laughs> Just give a little shout out to your kids here. I mean, they, yes. you, they have to be so unbelievably proud, Sari. You guys uh, are birth geniuses. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> so did we talk about, there was like millions of dollars on the line here? There what is are, so these students have qualified to compete in the International Science and Engineering Fair. So thousands of students from around the world are gonna come together in Ohio next month. These students are gonna go and they have the potential to win millions in prizes and scholarships. And I think from what we've seen today, they have the ability to do so. Our Arizona students are amazing and this gives me great hope for the future. Oh, absolutely. And who will they be presenting in front of? Uh, in, when they're in Ohio? Oh, they're in Ohio. Uh, it's a whole host of judges from around the world, experts in their field, so in their categories. Oh. These are expert scientists that will be judging their projects based on the merits, the work that the students have done, their ability to present. So this actually is good training for them for their presentations. Oh, wow. oh well, you guys nailed it. Yeah. You don't need any more training. You're fantastic. <laughs> you win from me, you get all the millions of dollars. The yeah. jaw-dropping nature of this, it's remarkable. I can't even imagine what I was doing in high school. And Not this. I, 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 no. I'm sorry, I, me either. Oh, my goodness. Um, I, 
for next year. Yes. How do kids get to be a part of this? I'm so glad you asked. You can always find more information about the fair and Arizona Science Center online at azscience.org. This fair happens every year. Students should talk to their science teachers about how to get involved and reach out to us. Okay, but no volcanoes. No volcanoes, volcanoes aren't going to cut it. Yeah. Maybe at the younger grades, but yeah, they're just not going to cut it. You've seen the level of research we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations. Luck to you three. You're yeah. Representing for our state. We're excited for you. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are amazing. So wow. Okay, check out the weather after the break. I'm stunned, Dom. <laughs>